Good afternoon, this is Justice from Hate Me Gaming, and today I'm bringing you Star Citizen. And what ship mask are you bringing this time? I'm bringing you the new Cutlass Blue, the police variant, as you can see down there. But before we get to that, or on our way as you will, let me show you the rest of the Reveling York hangar. I didn't realise there was extra elevators coming up here. Some decals there. I would like to mention at this point, we'll be giving some of those away in the future, so uh, stay tuned in future videos for uh, that giveaway. Nice cool matrix wall there. Let me take a nice jaunt over here to the lounge, which is situated at the back of the Revelin York hangar. And how cool is this? My still empty fish tank. That's not cool. That will be filled. Desks, offices, lovely lounge. Not gonna lie, guys, but hands up here. Who thinks this is a kick-ass place for a guild meet? Or maybe a swingers night, depends on what you're into. Yeah. Well, even them have little plans. Oh, that's cool. Right, let's go and uh, show you the ship, shall we? Because that's what you're here for. Well, some of you have my sexy voice, but uh, we won't get into that one. Look at that, look. We'll take you around the outside of it first to give you a good perspective of the outside of the ship. A little bit of info here for you as well. This is the Cutlass Blue, the police variant. Also for militia, for militia patrols. We'll come equipped with a secure docking collar and a tractor beam. And on board non deadly weapons for stunning players as well. Look at that. Look. look at that. Look. That, not, that not only looks sleek, but it also looks rather beefy. Nice big cannons there. Manned turret up there. This variant also comes with missiles. Unlike the red version, but that's the, the pacifist ambulance version, so we'll get to that one in another video though. Moving ring thrusters. Scoop back here so you can see the entire ship. Sorry about that front fin there is a blocking cockpit if we move to that. There we go. That's the ship in most of its splendor. I say most of it because uh, the rest is inside. Let's get a look to that, shall we? engines Oof. now a lot of people have been saying on the forums that they don't know how to get into the ship uh, most of like other ships you stand about here and press action and it opens uh, this is slightly different this is how you get into the ship you go up to the right leg and you press that little button there so I hope that clears it up for some of you and let's have a little gander inside shall we and we'll start at the back and work our way forward Right. Do apologise about some of the glitching. As we all know, chips just come out. Bit of storage at the back here for what not. I do believe these racks here will be for the non-deadly weapons as well. Which would be kind of cool. Just stun, stun a player before you shove them into your holding cells. Oh, what do we have here? We have a closet. Now, not very much. Uh, I do know, but... It does set me up for a brilliant gag. For example, hey guys, this is me coming out of the closet. Hi! Yes, I know. That was a bad joke. But hey, you're still with me, so if you're still here, let's carry on. And there we have the holding cells. Jura steel, I believe. Six of them. So, you could put prisoners in here, or you could put your friends in here when they drink too much of a night. Or if you're a bit like me and you're uh, quite the player, ladies, you can put each one of your spare girlfriends in there. If, you have, if you're like me and you have one girlfriend for each day of the week, you have seven. So one in each of these cells and one up in there in the back seat of the cockpit. Or if you're a little bit kinkier, you can have all your gimps in there and you can colour coordinate them. You can make a game of it. Musical gimps. Go for it. But yeah, that's those. 
those are chairs. Yes, you can use those, but I'm pretty sure I don't have to tell some of you guys how to use a chair. If I have to tell you how to use a chair, then I'm, you know, here's another little tip. Breathe in, breathe out. There's the passenger chair. These do have ejection, but I'd rather not do that in the hangar because there's a roof. Get into the driver's seat. Being a security ship, and how beautiful this is, Michael Dawn, aka Wharf himself, would be happy to sit in this very chair. I am quite happy to say. Ah. No. Didn't mean to get out of there. Do apologise. I'm going to show you the viewing range. There we go. Now look at how much view we get on this. That is a huge field of view for you space police out there. And we'll go back here. And now I'll show you this little thing. That's right. I can't find the button for this outside, but... Oh. It will let me up there at some point. Or apparently it won't. Come on, let me up. Is it letting me up? No. No, it's apparently not. Unfortunately so. So I'll move on to one of my next favourite pictures, which is... If I can press the button. If I manage to press the button. There we go. There we go. Neon light on a gunner seat. So, if you're uh, at a hardcore, no, if you're at a hardcore raid festival, and uh, you decide you want to play this game, you know, you feel right at home. Let's get in that seat and show you what's what. Scotty, beat me up. Now, unfortunately, a lot of the inside of this turret isn't done yet, but you can see that this is going to be rather nice. There we go. Unfortunately, like I said in one of the other videos, won't be able to uh, fire the guns in here, which is a bit of a letdown. But, when we get to use those things, I'm pretty sure they're going to kick ass. Right. Just turn around. Get out of here. Take a wander down here. And there's that ladder which I couldn't get up before. Will it let me get up this end? Yes, it will. Huzzah! If we climb up on top of this thing. Ah, That's right, I'm climbing all of my shit. If you guys to do this, I suggest washing your boots first. You don't want to wreck that nice new paint job. Look at those engines, though. I'm just going to close it with one of those. These are bigger and beefier engines than on any Cutlass, but if you're chasing down criminals, you're going to need them. Or, for better yet, running away from uh, bigger danger. Up oh, we go. Now I stand in front of this gun. There we are. That is the turret I was just in. Looking meaty as all hell. Do, do these look like rail guns to you? Some sort of blasters? They do. How cool does that look? Now go right down to the nose of the ship. And we'll get a good view of the entire thing from the top. Now tell me, if this thing was barreling towards you, you'd stop doing your crime. Or run. Or perhaps shoot out of the sky. But a fleet of these? Oof, I can see that would be more than a little... Brutish. That would be the word I'm looking for. There we go. So, this has been the Cutlass Blue, the police variant. I am Justice Gill with Hate Me Gaming, and uh, it's been a pleasure.